everyone, this is Mike at Sweetbriar Farm and I just brought home our Dexter steer from the butcher shop. I had guessed this steer would hang around 450 pounds and the hanging weight on this steer was 430 pounds, so I was pretty close with that. So I got uh, a couple coolers of beef here. We're gonna go through and see how much we got from the whole steer. So I did sell this. Um, two customers are buying a quarter and then the other customer is buying uh, a half of the, the steer. Some of the costs that go into raising the steer would be first we had to purchase this as a calf two and a half years ago. Um, I believe we paid about $350 for the steer calf, so it was about five months old weaned calf. We figured it was about $500 a year in hay. So they are all hay fed and then we micro graze our, our cattle on our uh, little bit of pasture that we have and cover crops. So off the bat we got about $1,500 I would say invested into this one steer. The Dexters are a small breed of cattle. You don't get the hanging weights that you would from an Angus or a Hereford beef cow. However, the quality of this beef is, is top of the line. So we're gonna unload, and I like to, this is good that I'm picking up for the customer, so I'm gonna document how much, you know, of each uh, type of cut we get. Stick around and we'll, we'll see what we, we got out of this one steer. So here we have a quarter beef. Fits in one cooler. The processing fee for this steer was $372. So it's about $84 for the two customers that bought a quarter, and then $162 for the customer that bought the half. So we pass that um, on to the customer purchasing the beef. So that's not part of our expense. 21 pounds of burger of the quarter. Chuck roast. Rib steak. Looks like this person had um, cut at about three quarter inch, two per pack. Quarter brisket. Tenderloin. So this is the a pack of rib steaks. Now they're not very big for this this package here, but look at that marbling on that. I mean, camera doesn't really show it, but there is a lot of intramuscular fat in there. Really nice for a grass-fed beef. The package on the right here is bull steak from our bull, and then this is from the steer. So the steer has a lot more intramuscular fat than the bull steak does. But the color is pretty close to the same. Really dark beef. Oh, the other quarter. About 20 pounds of burger. Short rib. Sirloin. Soup bones. Ribeye. Sirloin, sirloin. 
are by Tenderloin. And this is the half. Two pound packs of burger. Round stick. Round stick. Chuck roast. New York strip pack four. pounds of burger. All right, so I'll tally these up and see what we get for the whole. So I'm inside at Sweetbriar Farms World Headquarters here. I got everything tallied up. So for the one full steer here, 430 pounds hanging weight. All right, so we got 79 pounds of burger. 10, then these are by cut here, like total number, not pounds. So 10 total chuck roasts, 23 rib steaks, 6 T bone steaks, 1 porterhouse, 7 packages of short ribs, 3 briskets, so a half, half a brisket uh, for each of the quarters, and then 1 brisket for the half. Three packages of tenderloin, three rump roasts, four sirloin tip roasts, ten sirloin steaks, nine packages of round steak, fourteen New York strips, five arm roasts, and one package of back ribs. So that's for the whole steer. So the hanging weight, well, so it was 428 pounds processing fee was $330. Alright, so we charge $5 a pound plus the processing fee. So that's a total to the farm of $2,140. The customer pays for the quarter $629 for each of the quarters and then $1,212 for the half. Alright, so like I said, the animal cost I believe was $350. That was two and a half years ago. Estimate about $1,000 in feed. It's actually probably a low estimate. Was, we were paying higher prices for hay last year, last winter. Uh, vaccinations and medical. So we don't give any antibiotics or anything like that, but we do vaccinate. Medical would include like a wormer. We, in the wintertime, we use the poron ivermectin for lice. Um, bedding just an estimate of $25 for straw and $25 for water so that would be the electric bill basically in the winter for the uh, tank heaters and then you know electricity to run the well pump basically so that means that a rough estimate of our profit off of that one steer is $690 so that steer was about 29 months old, maybe a little bit older actually. And that means that for 29 months, we had a monthly income of $24 for one animal. So in the grand scheme of things, we don't really make a lot of money off of raising a grass-fed beef, considering the amount of time it takes to uh, raise that animal to butcher weight. We started this with the intention of raising one steer for ourselves and then selling one steer. We happened to, like we mentioned before, butcher our bull last January. So our freezer was full, so those first two steers that we bought back in 2020, one, as, one for ourselves and, and one to uh, sell, we ended up selling both of the steers as uh, quarters, halves, and holes to customers. So around 
a $1,200 profit for the two animals for two and a half years of work. So it's not, not a lot, but it is something that we enjoy. Since we've increased our, the number of our breeding stock cows and heifers, that price input of the animal cost so we don't have to buy steers in the future uh, will increase that profit as we venture further down this path of raising the uh, Dexter beef. So there we have it. Two and a half year investment, time, money, uh, for a little bit of payout. Overall, we enjoy raising the cows. So to us, it's worth it. And it allows us to pay the next feed bill. All right, well, thanks for watching, everybody. Hit that subscribe button. Stay tuned for the next episode. And uh, we'll see you in the next video.